One of Christianity's specifically horrible contributions to human mythology and delusion is the idea, the terrifying idea, that you could be tortured forever. Horrible by what standard? Um, horrible by, well, good question. Um, yeah, I know. Good, <laughs> no, but horrible, well, shall I say, let me ask anyone um, here who doesn't think it's a horrible idea to put up their hand. So it doesn't seem to require much explanation, does it, as a horrible idea? Well, what, are you, are you, do, you have a, do you feel you need a standard to keep your hand down no. at the moment? Or did I just say something that was, so to speak, morally self-evident? You no, know, there's a difference between an emotional reaction to something. Every person... Well, I think they're using their heads. Uh, no, there, there's, there's, an, uh, there's a difference between an emotional reaction, which all of us have, everybody with natural affection thinks it's a terrible idea to think of people perishing eternally. That's not the issue. The issue is how do you give an accounting of what is good and what is bad? When you, when you say, if, if the universe is, on your accounting, time and chance acting on matter, if all the universe is, is matter in motion, what do you mean, horrible? What do you mean by horrible idea? Who cares? Why do we care? Very good point. Um, very good question. Um, I ask myself a lot why that is. I, I, I think it's because I am uh, one of the higher primates. But that, that's well, not a rallying cry. It, no, rally it, it, no, it appears to be, no, it's not much of a rallying cry, but it's, it has the merit of being true. Um, it appears to be the part of the equipment, intellectual and moral equivalent, of our primate species, that it does have a need to help its fellow creatures, as well as to torture, kill, rape, enslave, and exploit them. It does have a feeling, quite a strong one, that there's a human need to help, and that you might need help yourself someday. So, so, so be nice you, to your neighbor. So why not? The, now, not, it, not, it everyone, not everyone has this. I mean, there are quite a lot of people also presumably made in the image of God, but I think a, a superfluous assumption to be making, but also made in the image of God, according to you, who are born sociopathic. They don't care about other people. They just, they just can't be made to. They just won't and don't. They're a problem for the rest of us. And then there are people who are born psychopathic, who, who positively need to see others suffer if our and have a bad time. If our species has within it the seeds of a gregarious help, help you give, lend a helping hand and we have a herd instinct and we want to help out. We have that instinct and we also have the instinct to go to war and, and fight and do all these terrible things that we do. I've got instinct A and instinct B. What is it that tells you which one is right? Same as you, I would say. God? No. The ten <laughs> no, you knew, you, knew, you knew all that before you'd ever read the Bible. Well, I knew all that. But you knew all that before anyone ever introduced you to Christianity. Yeah, don't, I, tell, don't tell me you didn't, or I'll have to be seriously alarmed about what you were like <laughs> as a little boy. Well, that would be good to do. It would be a serious, serious alarm. No, would, come on. It's a, uh, here's, the, here's the issue. Um, of course, um, I can feel a certain way before I, I can give an accounting of it. But what I'm asking for is, given your premises, given your assumptions, given what you say the universe is, given all that, how do you give an accounting of which way you...